Welcome to Mirth, Magic, and Mayhem, the AARPG's new actual play series using the Dragon Bean RPG by Free League Publishing. I'm Nathan, your host, co-GM, and I'll also be playing Brains, the idiot Wolfkin thief. Let's meet my friends and fellow cast members. I'm Malcolm, your co-GM, and I'll also be playing Corinne Reinsmith, the judgy halfling bard. Uh, hi, I'm Tyr, and I'll be playing Dane Ringson, a human scatterbrain scholar. I'm Chris, and I'm playing Sigurd, Elfin Huntress. Hey all, this is Anthony, and I play Kurgan, and he wants to remind you, you should go and get stuffed. Hello everyone, this is Sean, and I'm going to be playing Baylor Banefire, Dwarf Artisan Specialist. I'm Tim, AARPG's latest temporary double seeker probationary player. I play Quiverwing, the enchanting mallard whose spellbinding plumage shivers like distant lightning on a moonlit night. Together, We'll explore ancient secrets of a long-forgotten empire, facing challenges and forging our destiny in a world where every castle, cave, and crypt holds the echoes of a bygone era. Get ready for an epic journey filled with laughter, suspense, and unforgettable moments in the Misty Vale. All right. Yay. There we are. We're all initiated. We can proceed. All All right. Jesus Christ. All right, superstar. And we haven't even done all the settings yet, so. We are literally the fucking worst. Yeah, we are. This will be fun, though. We are the worst. <laughs> we are the worst. We are the AARPG podcast. Uh, and uh, quick reminder. We are uh, the world. W- this is our Tuesday night game, and we change things up. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be good for the podcast. Well, we love you, but we come first. So, uh, with that being said, we want to w- welcome Matt back temporarily to the uh, to the podcast. Say hi- say hi, Matt. If he doesn't shape uh, up, he's yeah, out this, again. Right. No, this is what's not best for the podcast. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're playing Dragon Bane, and uh, uh, so Matt's here, and he's uh, bringing back uh, an old standard of his from uh, a game we played in D and D. Was it like probably fifteen ish years ago, ago, Matt? A long time ago. Uh, but his far, name far is away. It's a townhouse. Oh, okay. uh, it was a townhouse. <laughs> it, was, it was not an apartment. The apartment was a completely sure, different sure. type of game. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dark the Bastard, so you're going to get to meet him. I, I hope, unless... Uh, Death comes. It would be him. funny if he's just spider food mm. at this point. That would be super funny. Oh. But anyway. We're not telling Malcolm how no. to do his job, though. Yeah, it's just one suggestion, Malcolm, you don't but have I to take it. <laughs> <laughs> so are you ready to take the reins now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. take them. Well, we are doing... Uh, Go. I guess this is Dragon Bane. It is Dragon Bane. Mm, let me get sure. Ah, yes, Dragon Bane. When we last left off, our heroes were looking in the pit of despair. <laughs> there was nothing but a wet bridge going over the endless dark. But that's not where we're starting. Dark. <laughs> um, a man who's never known his father, but does know his mother, thankfully enough, because she was kind enough to stick around after the 15 minutes of your birth. Anyway, <clears throat> you are returning home. Well, not really home, but the place you last left your stuff. Uh, Weaver's Hollow. Your second, or maybe, it's actually kind of like your half-brother lives there. And his name is Andros, and his wife, I think something begins with an M. But you do remember, most of all, your nephew. Um, who is there. And he is the only one who usually sees you, and it seems exceedingly happy to know and greet you and say hello, whatever else. But the fact that he's an infant is kind of beside the point, because basically it's nice to have someone actually be happy to see you. Um, But that aside, you are head back. His name is Rorik, and I think he's about, like, maybe three, maybe less, three years old, I think. Um... But six. you were on your way to go six. Oh, okay, good six. That's what it's like. <laughs> Didn't get through all the little notes in that part. Just yet. But you're coming to see uh, your half brother Rorik and pick up some things you left there. Your, I'm sorry, your half brother Andros, your nephew Rorik, and pick up some things while you're there in Weaver Hollow. At least that was what you intended to do. But when you arrived, you had heard that bandits had attacked. Well, at least 
had harassed. And as a part of their harassment, they had actually kidnapped your nephew, Rorik. After a fervent and often clueless search, because I'm not really sure what your tracking or bush skills are at this point, you, you finally heard that it was, it was believed that they somehow may have taken him to the Oracle Cave, or at least to ask the Oracle. Um, by the time you got back, you found that apparently another group of people have been looking for the Oracle Cave and possibly Rorik, which could be useful, but you didn't see them when you went there because you went there and there was nobody there in the cave mouth. You walked inside the cave, you with your torch and your handy insert weapon name here, uh, <laughs> and proceeded in the cave. You did find, not too far at an intersection, a large number of smashed and destroyed uh, spiders. Some as large as cats, others as small as your hand, but all smashed along the wall and bashed and destroyed. He went a little further and then found an orc that had apparently had been torn apart. It seemed kind of hopeless until you sold the bridge. Well, someone apparently laid a bridge here, so you crossed it and then proceeded to wander. And, well, you didn't actually stay on the bridge, kind of fell off, fell into the water, got sucked down to a tunnel, came out, got out of the water, was cold, made a fire, was certain that there was something big in the water, so you moved as far as you could back away from the cave, dried off, and then proceeded to continue wonking through. Um, by this time is a it, wondrous life I live. Yes, this is this is like the furthest you've been in this cave. Because, I mean, you've been here for the Oracle before. Usually everyone just sits outside after leaving some fruits and some baskets and maybe some meat, and then you hear her voice in your head. And she tells you things about the next year's harvest or what you plan. At least that's what everybody else is asking. But if you're there, you happen to be a part of that situation. So you've never seen her. And you don't know why she lives in this horrible place, but you think maybe the real estate's cheaper or something, and it's definitely offers a lot of privacy. No lighting would be nice. But after a while, you've been walking, and you slip through, and you have encountered a lot of webs, which is really kind of disturbing, but luckily, not any spiders yet. Until you come, and you can hear voices echoing up ahead in the dark. You don't know if they're friendly? or they're filled with malice for you. The question is, do you proceed with your torch lifted high so they may see you easily, or more cautiously? I think that uh, he would uh, perhaps try to lower his torch so it's not as, you know, held up high, and and he'll try to move quietly forward. Um, Not to disturb, in case it's a, a group of talking spiders. Always he wants good to hear thing. what they have to say before he, uh, you know. All right. You proceed with caution, lowering your torch. Why don't you give me um, just a sneaking roll to give us a sure. sort of benchmark of how well you're trying to keep quiet? All right. Some My light in target a dark cave. number is <laughs> six. Uh, so I will roll. Uh, Twelve. Okay. You believe you're very quiet. <laughs> I, I put my hand in front of the torch. You put so it, it and you, ow, it hurt. And you're like, oh, shh, shh. And you're blowing on it. Meanwhile, the rest of the party, at least the rest of the adventure is here tonight. Like I said before, you stand before the precipice that is an endless and large pit falling into darkness. The only way, other than the way you came, is across a bridge of woven cobwebs swayed to the wind. Uh, I throw a rock down. I have to tell you, I I don't like this. You toss the rock down. I check the bridge for bells. Why don't you give me a notice or uh, what, what do you want to, you, well, actually, why don't you tell me what skill you want to, do you want to use to give me an idea of how you're applying your aptitude to this? I mean, like, you know, you just sort of give me a cursory glance. Yeah, you just tell me what you're going to use and I'll, we'll go from there. He's going to use that? his asshole skill. <laughs> uh, I'm going to spot hidden. I, I, I get down on the, on, on all fours and I'm like, you know, looking at the bridge to see, because I've heard that some people 
put bells on bridges to to warn uh, of intruders. So, and you've encountered bells on stairs before already. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, I actually made it. So I have a seven to uh, for spot hidden. I rolled a three. Okay. Giving the bridge a careful look for any possible sort of failings or some sort of signals or bells or something, um, you find none. Um, if anything, you think, uh, though it is, you know, made of cobwebs, your poking and prodding is giving the idea that it, it is strong, though, and probably won't give out. It just will probably take some sort of, you know, you know, just a bit of skill, or at least a little bit of luck to get across, but it should hold. Hmm. So how long did it take for the rock to hit something below? Did I say it hit something below? <laughs> <laughs> right, I say we go back the way we came. Come on, it's just, uh, we've got rope. We'll just tie ropes to each other and, and I'll, uh, I'll lead the way across. That worked so well in the water. This is this is my natural element. I'm, I've got super, super balance, and I do a little uh, do a little spin on, on one toe. Corgan, ta-da! Why don't you give me a um, alertness roll, awareness roll? Excuse me. Corgan, <laughs> I do not know what your base skill is. So, is that a success? You rolled a seven. It's a yes. So, yes. Which is awareness. There we go. It was a success. Well, you being at the back of the pack, you're the one who you think you heard. Like someone is back there in the dark. And well, you look back and it's not only so dark because you can actually, it's kind of like there's a, it's. The light is reflecting directly right so, back on his face. So basically, face it looks like hand. a face floating in the dark, <laughs> and you're saying that someone's probably... You can see them. They're currently trying to blow on their hand through the to- over the torch. It's really just a mess, but you... Mm-hmm. It's a, why don't you describe yourself, dog? Um, you see, it's a it's kind of a broad, tall human, kind of crouched down. He has long, sort of flowing, kind of blonde hair that's kind of ratty and a kind of a semi unkempt beard. Um, he looks like he's wearing um, studded leather armor, but there's like little drapes of like old furs and stuff, kind of like on his clothing and. Um, he, he's got this torch he's, he's got it on his back you can see there's like this huge big wooden like looks basically like a limb from a tree uh, kind of whittled down into like a club and uh, he's just sort of like you know blowing on his hand trying to hide you know, you can clearly see he's like trying to hide himself with the torch right in front of him so you see this man who's I mean Calling him a danger seems a bit extreme, but, but he does seem to be, you know, coming be- coming up from behind you. Not that you're sure that he's seen you yet or not. He seems to be a threat, but the question remains as to be to whom. Now, Darg, as you were trying to keep your face covered and you have a lamp out in front of you, no, I'm not going to give you an awareness roll. I mean, literally, you have a torch in front of your face. So, but... Well, it's, it's doing wonders for my night vision. It's doing wonders. <laughs> but you can hear them closer because you can literally hear someone talking and it's like, that didn't even hit the bottom. That's you don't really have night vision, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I just mean the ability to see it. Oh, like, okay. You know, you put a light in your face. That's all no, I can see. Uh, so... so because if you have night vision and a torch, I mean that's yeah. You know, <laughs> great introduction. That would be nice. but don't, then you belong he, in our party. Yeah. <laughs> he will he will again, he will move slightly forward, trying to peer into the darkness around the flame in front of his face to see this to see if he can understand what this talking spider is saying. So Corgan, um, at this point, no everyone seems to be up fixated on the pit. Had the spider web across it, um, with the exception of Karen, who is apparently looking at some sort of songbook or something or writing something down. But other than that, no one appears to be paying attention to this person advancing 
not really the official in any way, but do you want to say anything? I just want to know that now. I nudge my mate behind me and I tell him what I see. Look at this fool. What the what the hell is that? Is that a human? A uh, spider! <laughs> it's not a spider. <laughs> spiders do not uh, yeah, spiders aren't holding torches. So you hear, ah, it's a spider. And then you can see there's literally, because these guys all had lanterns and torches, uh, a well-lit party of people standing further down the hall, further down the corridor from you in this case. It's a human with a tree coming out of it. Uh, Dark will hear, so Dark hears it's a spider. It's a spider. Then you hear, no, it's not. It's a human with a tree coming out of him. (laughs) I will record this later in my book and... You'll be billed for it. And that's all the things you heard. <laughs> uh, Dark will the, you the spider. S- he will drop his torch and pull this massive wooden club off his back. He'll be like, where? Spider, where are you? Come out now. Give me back my nephew. Oh, we definitely have to get him. This, <laughs> we, let, we need this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Perhaps he should go over the bridge first. Wait. Why is there a random, large, tree-wielding man in the spider cave? Who are you? Why are you here? Wait, are you a brigand? We should probably ask that first, as Karen. Does he match match the description? (laughs) Well, no, not really. The brigands weren't (laughs) good. Hey, you there. Are are you a brigand? Brigand. So much for sneaking through the caverns. I'm carrying a lantern. No. Brigand. 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 Or, do you know what a brigand is? Is. 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 Of course I do. 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 Okay, we'll let him do the echoes. Where? I. My name is Darg. I am looking for my. My nephew. He was taken. Oh! And I heard taken to this cave. Darg, Darg, you're in luck! Turns out we just saw him on the other side of that bridge. Can you? Most we'll excellent. help you if you. You lead the way. We'll right be right behind you. Of course, excellent. He will put the put his club back on. He kind of straps it back on. Or just kind of shoves it between the back of his shirt and his back. He doesn't really have much of a strap for it. And then he'll pick up his torch and he'll start heading for the bridge. I, I step. I step aside. <clears throat> right this way, sir. As you slip past the party, which with all the other gear in the lantern, the tunnel opens up into a seemingly, seemingly bottomless shaft. The dark abyss gapes before you, and this a single bridge made of cobwebs woven is the only way across the other side. And as you get closer to the edge, you can hear possibly the faint crying of a small child echoing from the cave on the far end. I believe that one's that, yours. And then you hear it rock hit the pit bottle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, is this not a sticky situation? But I, yep. I will go forward. Let us go, whoever you all are. Uh, follow me. And he will trudge across the bridge. Are we just going to follow this strange man? I was going to watch Absolutely to see what we are. So, uh, Doug, you... Courageously, move out onto the bridge and begin crossing. That's why a don't kind you give, adjective. Why don't you give me a acrobatics roll? Ooh, I actually am trained in that. I'm still going to roll terrible, but... Oh, it's a four, and I have a twelve. Ooh, that is not terrible. So, um, it is, you know, it's... It is not... It's not super easy, but the bridge does hold... It's a bit difficult, but you're able to make it to the other side safely without incident. Someone should have given him the rope. <laughs> oh, uh, Quick sure. question. I don't know how serious or not serious you guys have been playing. <laughs> just, just go with it. You'll be just fine. Just go. Okay. Just uh, he gets about halfway across and he's kind of giggling. And you see him, he kind of at one point throws his leg kind of over part of the side of the rope bridge, so it's coming out between the back of his legs. He kind of looks back and goes, huh, huh, look at me, I'm a spider. Huh, huh, and he kind of just kind of keeps going. 
<laughs> I now am getting to what <laughs> Karen just looks points and goes, I think maybe <laughs> We, we could go back I to the pub. I don't right. think yes. I don't think they would miss us. Ah, follow him, they said. Cross the bridge, they said. I just wanted to see what would happen. Maybe I'm not super smart, but maybe you should give me the rope and tie the rope to my waist. I uh, okay. You take the rope, Corgan. You hold the rope and deliver so, it to the large man on the other side of the bridge. All right. I'll tie the rope to my waist and I'll make my way across. Okay, just give me an acrobatics roll. Uh, seven, uh, and I've got 16, so yeah. Okay. Now, are you each going one at a time across the bridge? Yeah, I, I'm certainly not going to go with plan. other people. Yes. Yeah, Yeah, I, I think one at a time and tied to the rope. I'm, I'm going to um, start flipping. I'm going to start flipping through a book really quickly, looking for something while the others go. I dart acro- across one because of my size and the fact that this guy just made it I feel much more confident and uh, I do actually ca- I try to catch okay. up just gave me an acrobatics roll alright I rolled an 11 but I think my be, uh, what's your um, acrobatics let's see no I think it's an 8 and I, mean, and I rolled an 11 I don't think I made it you slide off the bridge and start slipping off. You can give me an evade roll and try to an evade roll to try and grab on um, to save yourself. Is he near me or near them or closer to me? But well, we'll just my evade is fifteen. We'll, I I rolled a fourteen. Okay, you're able to snag a piece of the web before going off and sticking and climb back onto the bridge. Um, you will probably have to go on your hands and knees all the rest of the way, but it'd be safest. It doesn't look dignified. Um, <laughs> that was... <laughs> but it's better than falling. What are you doing? The, the man with the be anchor careful. to the man with the anchor yeah, to the rope. You were supposed to stay on the other side. <laughs> with the man with the other end of the rope. <laughs> now, now both ends of the rope are on this side. What? What are you? <laughs> this is so. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go back across. You stay here with 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 Tree Guy, and I'm gonna go. What's your name again? Why, why did we let them do the planning? Uh, my name is Dar. They just they just. What went. is your name, good fella or person? I I'm brains, and I like I knock the uh, wooden plate on my head. Don't hit it too hard. Ah, oh, <laughs> yes, 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 indeed, you are. And and, uh, and I. I put my hands on Corgan's sh- uh, shoulders and I say, you stay here with him. Hold on to the rope. Don't let me fall. And I go back across. As you're so walking I, across, Kirk, Kirk, I'm like, did you see what I almost did? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you almost uh, died. It was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear God. Roll, roll to ten. So, all right, new new plan. I'll stay on here. You guys hold on to the rope and and make your way across. And I'll thank you for that plan, brains. I would like to loop the loop my belt Something's around the just rope obvious. so that I can my belt slides along the rope. Um, yeah, I'll just um, yeah, I'll be next. Karen will, will go right after you with like with you right you're like oh. <laughs> I, I'm furiously making notes as everybody passes everybody goes I, I'll be happy to go after after Corinne Ooh, I got a one on acrobatics Ooh. Nice. Dragon. Nice. Dragon. mark that down I did <laughs> and Corinne I'm going to fail acrobatics. We'll fail. I, I was terrified. <laughs> she will fail, and, uh, but she'll make her evade to catch herself. She slides off, and with the help of the rope, it's like, good. And then, trippy, isn't it? It doesn't like halflings. Whose oh, idea was this? <laughs> <laughs> and she I scoots across to <laughs> Totally failed acrobatics. Roll to 19. Ooh. Okay, um, why don't you give me a uh, an evade roll? Evade roll, I rolled a four, so that's okay. Good. So uh, you two are able to catch yeah. yourself, just like. <laughs> so, <laughs> dog, is it? Why I can't fly. How likable uh, is this child of yours? 
<laughs> oh, he is a sweet child. Uh, Very lovable. Last, it's fine. So I'm the only one left? Uh, yep. Let me see. Well, brains. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm still on the side with I'm right. holding the rope. Okay, so now, that I've, now that I've made notes of where all the slipperiest parts of the bridge are, I'm going to spend the three willpower to use I'm sorry I hadn't bathed. Uh, to use adaptive. Uh, but why is uh, and, I, and instead of acrobatics, I'm going to use, I'd like to use evade. Oh, we'll do now. I would. Proceed. Okay, is it... Uh, because we have the rope, is it one? Is it with a, a bane? No, it's with a boon. Oh, a boon. With oh, boon? son of a... No, it didn't matter. Okay, I got one. Never mind. That was yeah. fine. Uh, I rolled a five and a six, so I'm I'm good. I li- literally, he's got the map out, and he's going, huh? 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 And, you're going and, to, and you'll be able to miss the infamous greasy dog spot that got the two halflings. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the mallard. <laughs> Something pooed here. <laughs> That's not poo. It's like some some condensed sweaty skin stuff. I, I oh oh yeah, I think it, this yeah. this might have been a being Ooh. from under. <laughs> uh, so you're all safely across the other side, effect you know, of the bridge, with your lanterns, your torches back there, just so you know, dark. You didn't happen to bring it, I think. Oh, maybe you did. Yeah, you got your torch. Yeah, so you're all together. Torch. You're all together on the other far side of the precipice into darkness. Um, Behind you, of course, the cave continues. It sort of turns a bit northward for several meters, and then you lose it in the darkness because the range of, you know, your lanterns and torches are not that that immense. Let's figure out some sort of marching order for you guys. Mm -hmm. Best who knows who died. Who will encounter Probably third. Who will notice things first? Okay. I'll be second. I think oh, the first. Be fourth? <laughs> Darg's just kind of watching all of you line up. You go over here. Yo, no, so, yo. who's going first? <laughs> Brains. Brains. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, Corgan, are you bringing up the end or is it Darg? Uh, I think for now it's me and Darg's. Well, Darg's behind me. Walk side by yeah. side. You How wide is the passage? Uh, the passage is about a meter in width, on average. Uh, so well, probably, yeah, probably not side by side. <laughs> yeah, actually, so yes, yeah, Darg and then uh, Corgan. Yeah, I think so. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the large man and the, the halfling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, he's just a boy. Let me know if you get tired. You're right. You're right, Matt. That's exactly where I'm going. I'm going to be riding you within the next turn or two. <laughs> That's how we welcome all of our brand new friends that we find in a cave. <laughs> As dark, dark turns around, I'm like this. <laughs> uppies, uppies. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So, um. The passage continues north for a little bit longer, like maybe another five or six meters, and then you come to a split where there's two passages, both going north, uh, veering off. They're not too far from one another um, in this passage. I mean, in the, the, from, from the main passage. It's, it's, not, the it's, same not, a, it's not a T intersection? It's no, like it's a more like a road. Yeah, it's more like a fork mm-hmm. road, yeah. Okay. I'll lean over to Corinne. I was like, you realize that he rescues his nephew that we probably won't get paid, yeah? Just Do you really think he's going to be able to rescue his nephew without us? He found his way as far as we did. I think, I think stumbled is the more appropriate... Oh. <sighs> what was the reward again? It was like 35 gold, I think. Shh. He's just saving his nephew. We'll, we'll figure this out on the way okay. out. All right. All right. <laughs> so, um... Which passage do you take? Are is one wider than the other? Or are they the same? Or? They appear to be about the same in width. Do either of them? Do either of them appear to be more heavily traveled than the other? Is there tracks? Uh, less tracks? Why don't you give me a um, spot hidden? I suppose spot hidden. No, fifteen. There is nothing 
You notice nothing particularly remarkable that sets one apart from the other. Do we hear the child's cries more prominently through one or the other? Or both? They seem to echo through both. Brains. Yeah. Do you catch a scent of anything unusual in either of these paths? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take a step around. Would that be like an awareness thing? Sure, an awareness. Smells like cave. Oop. Thing. Ooh, that's a negatory. Too 17. much dark. Yeah. <laughs> Too much dark. Yeah, he, he has <laughs> Too much <been>. dark. <laughs> Has anyone else noticed his odor? Just yes. That's why I'm up front. I, <laughs> I, I, did he roll around in a dead donkey? I, I don't, honestly, he's not dead and it still smells I, like that. Honestly, I, I think Miserable Beast might actually smell better. And I've never thought I would say that. I suggest we move up the right for no other reason than to... Your to, right or uh, my right? We're both facing the same direction. What if I turn around? <laughs> I just start pushing brains down the right path. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Don't have to push me. All right, so... Yes, I think I might. You proceed to the right. When uh, Dar is always pushed to the right intersection, down. the Y intersection, he turns around, looks at the half thing, has a smile on his face. He's like, huh, we should stop and eat here. Huh, huh, huh. Uh, he just turns around and keeps walking. <laughs> oh, God. So we oh, should turn around and go to the yes, bathroom. I'm, I'm just waiting for you to tell me to lightning bolt his ass. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know when the time is right. Okay. Late, right. We find the I, don't, child. I don't think that this guy is going to be any competition for looking for that lost tome. It's just... Just, just an in, just an impression I get. Right. I'm sure he knows what the tome is. Um, unfortunately, with Darg in front of me, I didn't see where they went. <laughs> I don't know which You're just they hoping went. that he's going the same direction. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you might, give me a lift. I would like to look up and scout ahead. Maybe I can help you. Sure, you can go ahead. Wait, which way did you go, Dark? Did you follow that? Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah, just... Yeah, yeah. All right. You travel over about 20 meters before you once again come to another fork. Well, this is more of a T. One passage can... Because the passage goes north and then slightly starts turning towards the west. And then the passage, the, and then the passage sort of comes to a split where it continues west... And then there's a patches that continues back, that sort of lower the cucks, back to the east. Hmm. You can hear the child's crying from the passage to the west. You can hear footsteps coming up from the east. Footsteps? Oh, uh, hide. This is just a really cave. <laughs> there might be rocks and stuff around. Uh, yeah, is I there think a spot be rocks all around? The, the footsteps. Let me see if I can give you guys a show you what this intersection looks like. That might be helpful, I suppose, in some way. Um, oh dear, that was way too big. You don't want. She said. No, she didn't. Unless you meant your. She could have. She could have said that. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I know. It was like no. We spent far too much hot time, hot tub time together to. Dub, 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 dub. Hot, yes, I've been drinking. What do you want? <laughs> hot tub time. All right. Well, anyway, I can't really share because this map's not really doing well. Do, do me any, do any favors. You just describe it. Use your GM voice. So basically, you have a passage that continues westward, and the one that turns back on itself, going a little bit to the south, heading east. You hear footsteps from the east. They seemed. Hmm, the best you can gather is sort of uh, sporadic. But when I say footstep, it's because you do think it's a bipedal creature. That it stops before reaching the intersection. Yeah, because we all have, like, lanterns and torches. <laughs> yes, you do. do uh, is there any light coming from that direction? No. Ooh. Nothing but okay. darkness. 
Okay, something that's bipedal and does not need torches. Can you smell anything coming from that passage? I, I'll just shut up and say, Hey, are you one of those goblins following us? I draw my bow. No, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, um... I don't know what that was supposed to be, but all right. Well, I should stop being smart. I'm, I'm an idiot. That is true. Oh, you mean brain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Touché. But you do not hear any response except for... <laughs> Is it another strange, weird man wandering around a cave at night? Is is that what it is? Yeah, this is we're just collecting weirdos. <laughs> and then, and then it starts running like really, it get, like it's like it's 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 like stinger around, and you just hear like running, like it's obviously running straight towards you. Like, uh, yeah, I put up my sword and pull out my da- yeah, my dagger. So I'm like ready to like. I got the bow ready. Stab it. Suddenly a dark figure rushes towards you. It appears to be a man, I guess. He's shouting. He just keeps shouting, Beast in the dark! Beast in the dark! His eyes are wide. His clothes are ragged. He looks like he might have been someone of, I wouldn't say importance, but at least, you know, probably had a day job. (laughs) Are you Ronnie Uh, James Theo? And he just keeps screaming, the beast in the dark. Everywhere, oh, damn. nowhere. You're the one who came in these tunnels without a light. She's, we yeah, are, um, God, voices. Yeah, who are you? What's, what's, what's wrong with you, man? The beast in the dark it is here. Yeah, yeah you, you said that. crawling over you, everywhere. Eyes. Uh, yeah, I wish you hadn't said that. See those eyes? Okay, stop talking. Eyes stop talking. everywhere. Stop, stop, stop. Shh. Is that a plank on your head? Eyes yes. in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. that, that's a fair question. So many, <laughs> so many grasping and taking. <sighs> They're all gone. All of them. Who? Some are here. Who's gone? And they're gone. Just taken. Shoved through little holes. Pulled down. Beat the darkness of the water. Stay away from the water. That is a yeah, I know about that. It. Oh, and it's cold. It's cold, too. Very cold. The co- yeah, the, the, orcs the, lucky, told, the, yeah. the orcs told us about the creature in the water. We're good. The, luck, the lucky ones died of the cold. The other ones crushing teeth under the water, snapping bones, drowned cries. But nothing compared to the creatures in crevices. Oh, we met some of them too. They Beast were not in the so dark. pleasant. Do you have a plank on your head? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 it's more about, so, can you describe this beast? Oh, the dark. Where, dark where? is touching, touching. Daddy, try to, try hey, to no, touch no, you. No, 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 <laughs> Touching, no, no. touching stay, everywhere. Stay back, stay back, I, stay I'm, back. I, I don't think he's given consent. I'm, really? It's, oh. it's very strange. Hey, we shouldn't have done it. It is all a punishment from the gods themselves. What, what did you do? Is that a board on your head? Yes! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, the gods have damned you as well. Oh. Certainly damned all of us. I mean, I... Ooh. I, I did this so to myself. Light. Sometimes they you have like to... S- light. I'm so glad, but so sad. It's not the light of outside, but it's light here. I hope it doesn't bring them like before. Maybe you need a <laughs> nap. Do you need a nap? Sleep here. Yeah. I'll get you when you sleep. Bodrus, he slept. It took him, pulled him straight through the wall. Why are you in the caves, madman? Because I can't get out! 
he should travel with us. He seems wise. <laughs> 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 we have picked up one man. weird man in the cave exactly. today. <laughs> I will he help seems you to know about beasts in the dark. Is that what we are worried about? If you about? will help me get out and let me stay in the center of your light, they get you from the edges. You like the darkness. <laughs> yes, come, right. come, walk, right. walk next to me, what, wise man. What's this? Why is this weird man inviting more weird men to join us? What what brought you into the cave, madman? They brought us into the cave. I think I think the human has devised the means of having the, the slowest ambush of all time. Then we couldn't just, get out. It's just going to keep inviting weirdos to join us. <laughs> he leans a, like a, a, <laughs> a little closer to you, uh, brain. Time to touch huh? you. Uh, you were touching uh, us. You, you, you don't. You, you, uh, yeah, don't, we don't thought touch, we were fine. And we woke don't up touch here. the fur. It don't touch the all. fur. Well, some of us. I, I, I think I've I read about I read about people like him. I think they they. Cave they call madness. Him, he has he has an affection for furries. <laughs> He's quite mad. They are so many. Beast in the dark, long-limbed, grasping, biting eyes everywhere. Does he have any weapons they took on the him? They baby, even. Mm-hmm. I can hear it crying. Can you hear it? It will be so fun at dinner. <laughs> oh, oh, I like your stories. Dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have a board <laughs> on your head? <laughs> it's so weird. Is she dead? Hmm. Anyway. Excuse me, large fellow. Do, do you know this one from your village? No, not at all. I don't know him, right? Like, I don't recognize yeah, him. Yeah, you have no idea who this guy is. I have never seen this fine gentleman before. Is this one thing you have, and you know, in Weaver Hollow, you literally just, if you've lived there, you know everybody. I'll lean over, whisper to Corinne, it's like, some, somebody could just knock him out, or we could go through his pockets, we might get a more saner answer. Dane, I am like literally three feet tall. I didn't say. I, I didn't say before. us. Oh. I mean, just just somebody. One. Well, obviously, the dog would be the best one to do it. He's got a tree, That's but true. I think he's. I think they're related. He knows he's in a cave, right? I whisper. Um, I he's really I draw, a tree. Uh, dog, don't trust him. He knows where your nephew is. Get him. You don't want to go there. Don't go that way. Wise Thank man, you. I am looking for my nephew. Have you seen him? Little he looks boy. behind you when you say wise man. He's going to say no. Watch. Yes. I'm looking for my little, my nephew. Have you seen him? Yes. See the Oh. Excellent. Where Charming is he? child. Auburn hair. Pale is blue his eyes. Nephew. Is his description correct? I mean, yes, his description is correct, but he didn't know it. <laughs> yes. I mean, dark figures, he's probably telling the truth. He doesn't really remember. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Point the way. Lead us there. I will not lead you into the now of the beast. There he points further west. Not the way he was coming, but like the other way. Yeah, or not the way, the way he was coming. coming. Not right. the way he was coming. The other way. He goes. Like, but if I could just borrow a torch and a sword, and maybe your board. Ooh, no. no I can't have the board. Don't think any of that is a good idea, frankly. You can't burn them with just your desires. You must burn them with fire. <laughs> could, uh, you could burn your clothes. <laughs> like that crazy knight said, cleansing fire will be Cra- the salvation of all of us. Crazy knight? Which well, I crazy thought knight? he was crazy then. No. He was right. We need fire. This whole cave needs fire. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. Is that a board on your head? No. No, oh. you're, you're it is, hallucinating. You have a very interesting haircut. Mm-hmm. Just say no, that. thank you. I know a guy. It's a little hat. Oh. You should probably talk to your audacity. <laughs> This anyway, is Wolfkin fa- fashion. You wouldn't understand. I have a Wolfen friend. He's got a little Sh- mate. Sure you do. <laughs> I did. I did have a Wolfen friend. That's what they all say. Oh, I have a, it's okay. I have a Wolfkin friend. And then the beast in the dark took him. 
They, they I think they like the fur more than they do just the uncovered flesh. He howled and whimpered, and they just dug into him, rippling waves of things under his fur. It was not right. It was not right. Sounds like the spiders. Very dangerous. Mm. You go first. <laughs> So, so they're that way. I'll take a lantern or a burning stick or that twig, and I'll have the other. You seem like you have something great. Or I could stick with you and help you get out. I know the you way. You can't get out yourself. How well, can you I, assist us? I know which way's not to go, so there must be the other way that you can go that you must know. So, huh? Oh, my God. You were coming the same direction that we were going, and you're telling us it's not the way. I don't think you're the one we should be taking directions from, sir. Well, that was a horrible... You haven't been in the... Ki- but you haven't been in the. I think big- I've I've lost two or three years worth of education just talking to this man. <laughs> Dog, since you enjoy his company so much, why don't you uh, stand beside this nice gentleman while Brains and I continue forth? Oh, most definitely. Come talk to me, quite great sir, about this beast in the dark. While I we find my my, Brains. my nephew. Brains, come on. Yes, he's okay. occupied. All right. <laughs> So, which way do you guys go? <laughs> Further west? Uh, west, right? That's uh, the where the cries are coming from. Yes, yes. wherever he pointed, right? Are there yeah. more? Are there more webs? Right where you are. No. Yeah, like where we're like do it from where we are. Do we see still more more webbing? From where you are. Mm-hmm. Uh no, with this fork, you do not see more webbing. I don't think you see okay. more webbing. Yeah, well, it says, uh, and I just told Corkin, yeah, we're just going to scout ahead a little bit. Just make sure he doesn't, like, stab anybody. Or break right. them. Yeah, so, yeah, so we'll just scout ahead a little bit and see if we can find another... Okay. Well, you, you can go about another, I guess, another 10 meters before you had this narrow pinching where basically the cave, once again, becomes really constricted. Um, meaning that, you know, you won't have to, just, you know, you'll basically just have to just sort of like sheathe your weapons and either drag or keep your lanterns low or something. You have to figure some way. You can't walk abreast. You'll have to walk sideways and shuffle through it. But it's a little wider than the other smaller ones you got through, so you probably won't have to make an acrobatics roll. You will just constrict your movements as far as in this one, this part. Do you proceed? What do you think? I see no other way. Um, it doesn't involve us crossing that confounded bridge again, or going the way the madman came from. I mean, do do you want to see if this is a short uh, crevice or a long crevice? Let's see if it's a short crevice. All right. Uh, uh, I mean, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Uh, you've got the better senses down here. I s- suspect you should go first. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll squeeze through. I'll I'll, uh, I'll leave my uh, shield behind and... and um... Well, you, actually, you mean, it's, not, it's like, really, really, it's a matter of just how... you. It's a matter of having... You probably, you'd have to probably just either put it on your back and then slide through okay. or at least hold right, it yeah. really close to you. Yeah, you through, but you wouldn't be able to really use it or use yeah. a weapon or anything. You really can't do any particular action other than just slide the big through. Okay. Sorry, but, it's, yeah. but it is wider than the other ca- the other one was. And that's and, the There is no acrobatics rule to not get stuck. You don't have to worry about okay. that. Okay. Right. going through the back of the shield on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's each bit. Um But yeah, I think... But the thing is, you split, you, you move down. But the fortunate thing is that the sort of constriction of the size of the uh, cave um, is a very short sort of sort of you know short portion. It only goes about maybe three meters, and then you're it opens back up to a much to a, a, I wouldn't say huge, but definitely about the same about a meter wide tunnel again. So you have some room to maneuver. Okay. And um, do you go further beyond that point? I suppose uh, I would uh, follow. Uh, that yeah, I'll, I'll wait for. Yeah. I'll whisper back to. I'll stage whisper back to Sagan. Sagan, it's okay. Come through. I will then follow through and redraw my bow once I clear the opening. Okay. I suppose. Well, does the rest of the party follow through? 
dark. And the man in the back goes, we can always go the other way. You have a torch. I'll, I'll, I'll follow through with the lantern. Ah, uh, well, these fine folks seem to know where they're going, but I'm just following them. They're headed towards the child and the beast in the dark. Well, that's where I'm going is for the child. Come on, get in there. Uh, gee, you fine. You, you, you. Right behind you. <laughs> so I'm assuming the rest of the party goes through the, the tight spot and gets the other side. Yes. The passage in the stone in this cave continues for another ten meters before you come to a thicket of spider webs. Beyond it, you can hear a crying baby louder than you've ever had before. How thick and how wide this thicket is. It covers the entire, you know, sort of doorway, the whole passage, and you can hear it beyond it. Hey, Dark would move forward and try to start burning the webs out of the doorway. Hold on, Rorik, I'll be there. Hold on, lad. He knows that they were captured by bandits, right? On the other hand, we see not but spiders within the caves. It's true. Maybe the spiders ate the bandits. They did, says the guy in the back. They did eat the band brigands. So they yeah, the just brigands, try to not burn the, the webs from the uh, door. The doorway, right? Because they're blocking yeah, the doorway blocking, or something. They immediately sort of give out, you know, sort of disappear. But I mean, there's. But there's like the floor is covered, the walls are beyond it, and much thickly covered with it. But um, by burning away that covering over that passage, it reveals a much larger chamber. So basically, there it's the you know you you have your lanterns and you illuminate it. It appears to be a vast cave chamber. Um, the walls. Uh, covered with cobwebs and small, uh, you know, covered with cobwebs and various sort of like entanglements, but it's like thick and in which there is a small cocoon which dangles and you can Uh-oh. see the outline of something very large moving in the shadows and then a faint voice inside your heads as if whispering in both your ears at once, you hear. Little creatures, little creatures, why have you invaded our home? Out of the abyss climbs a hideous spider. She's huge, thick and fat like two horses and many legs. She braces herself against the wall as she begins to lean out into the chamber towards you. One of our LMs absolutely kicks the, you know, sort of hits the little cocoon dangling, and you hear a terrified cry of a child. I slowly lower Darg's torch. <laughs> Darg will slowly put, reaches under his furs, puts a little open face helmet on, kind of. Well, I'm here, Rory. Rorik. He's got a look on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Right. 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 Line. Line. <laughs> we heard that that human child is sick and not fit for eating. Is that what you say? Yeah. That's not nice. He's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with him. Erksne <laughs> on the... sweet treat. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Why are you here, little creatures? Oh, hear someone talking in their head. Yeah, this happens when you go in these caverns. These things like to do that. You've actually heard this voice before, dog. Oh. During the harvest requirement, when you guys come and ask the oracle for about the weather for the next coming year. It sounds just like this. Not really as scary, but definitely like this. <laughs> well, this makes sense now. Of course a spider would know about farming. 
<laughs> we've we've come for the boy. <laughs> you did? No, I'm speaking to the spider. Thank you. You've come for Actually, the Actually, I love that even better. <laughs> you did? <laughs> <laughs> Always tears characters in the children. It's really... <laughs> <laughs> if that was true, if it was my normal character, like, oh, just fucking eat him. You know? <laughs> You've only just come for the boy. No, yeah. we've had other things, but that is... One of the main reasons we were planning to come back and petition the Oracle for an answer to a question. What is your question? Well, we haven't made an offering yet, so we can't ask a question, correct? Hmm. But I could perhaps make you an offering for the answer. You seem strong, healthy, tasty meats, and creatures. There is this odd fellow we've picked up in your caves. <laughs> yeah, let me go get him. Mm. What, 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 what is your offer? Go. Find this place. King of the Orcs that have invaded this cave. And I will give you the answer you require. And the boy? She will extend one of her sort of legs and to stroke the thing, shake it just so it just hits it and he cries. And the boy. You do notice that, you know, as she turns, that like part of her sort of like, you know, spiderous head, the kaiken looks a bit damaged and some of the eyes look, I mean, most of the eyes look sort of cloudy in colour as opposed to shiny or clear. Um, can, may, we, may we have a moment? I have been here before the valley was inhabited by your folk and those of the elder king as well. I'm gonna huddle up here. Um, I'm just having a feeling. Our, or speak to our heads. I, I, I know, I know, but it just—it's polite. Uh, it's I not have, polite to snake someone's head. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that this is the oracle. Um. So we have the option of getting the boy back and getting our answer. And it's really helping for a very, you know, young woman who's like high on vapors or something. It's well, terribly I mean, disappointing. It's, it's not that flavor of Oracle, I guess. Mm, it's um, flavor of Oracle. It's about- but um, so should we go back and attempt to kill the orcs uh, to get the answer and the, and this gentleman's nephew returned? Um your thoughts? I think that sounds great, but from, but from the Oracle's standpoint, you just try to use football like okay, you just like <laughs> you just try to lay it all out. No, no, Dane's Dane's not that crafty. He's literally going to talk to you about it. But I think that's uh, that sounds pretty good to me. But hold on, hold on. There's lots of those orcs. There's only one of this thing. You've um, seen how large it is, right? It, it's it's also been here since before this valley was inhabited thousands su- of years ago. I suspect we are not the first adventurers to stumble into this cave. And uh, wait, wait, let me let me just uh, one clarification, please. Uh, do we have to kill the orcs, or do we have to, or can we ask them to to leave nicely? Hmm. If they leave, forever, and I get none of their meats, perhaps that'll work. Well, I can be satisfied, depending on what your rascal is. Mm. Does she give good farming advice? Yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> it is really have kept, you know, Weaver's Hollow has been extremely prosperous because usually she tells them all about the weather to expect, how they're planting and so forth. But usually, you know, I mean, you're dogs, so you don't really know this, but usually it's, that's about the caliber of the questions they ask. Usually people have been able to ask other things ever, but that's usually done privately and not as part of the group village effort. So, but so the social contract between her and the village has been positive. Yes. Okay. This, but she does have your nephew. <laughs> I'm all for slaughtering Nightkin, but not so loud. No, no, I could definitely do it. This is Karen. They can all just just die. <laughs> it's the worst. Time. I don't anyway, know. 
it, how I feel about leaving the child in here with that monster. No offense. She should be offended. Look at her eyes. Gross. Yeah. Just probably Pretty gross. <laughs> I mean, there on is the other hand, hand. On the other hand, it has survived this long. <sighs> how many orcs were there? A different bargain. I just side eye the crazy old man that uh, we are entering the caves. No, oh, he's just like the beast in the dark. He actually didn't come into this place. He just basically, you guys. Once you guys came here, you realize you took it back for him, and he's not there. I forgot. <laughs> Maybe apparently, he should stay and keep an eye to make sure nothing happens to my cousin. Like, like literally, you my turn nephew. around and he's like, you turn around to see if and he is like, he did not, <laughs> he did not come into this cave. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's out. Ah, dog has wasted our sacrifice. If we do this thing, you will not harm my cousin, my nephew, right? That is the nature. Steps of niece. This has been twice removed. Back to. Me- his own fault, his own kind, unharmed and untutored and uneven. Untutored? Well, he was always, sick anyway. There's always another option. Keep it. Uh, but yeah, we'll I'll go with whatever you all decide to do. Well, I mean, but uh, cool. I believe the spider. Many crops have been grown. Many seasons have the people of my town have flourished with her guidance. Uh, stop by from time to time. That makes sense. Yeah, but how? We don't know how many orcs there were. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I just mm. could right. be a lot of orcs. On the other hand, the stairwell was a natural choke point. Orcs don't bother me. You do orcs. Have you met uh, our friend Griffwing and his uh, skilled chain lightning? <laughs> He's really, really good at that. He's really good at that. And they are nightkin. And the thing is, I mean, the worst could happen is basically they could, you know, someone could survive and tell a different patrol that we've encountered. Wait, what were we doing? What? Uh, I've lost track. Um, Our options are get murdered by the giant spider yes. or murder some orcs. Oh. Um, Can we take the child as collateral? I don't I, think she will fall. I don't. Know what he doesn't. I don't think he knows well, what, I mean, how loans so work. We'll, yeah. We, we take the child. We mm. go. We go kill all the orcs or mm. make them leave. And then we come back with your with our question. Seems like a win win. I mean, you don't really. I mean, you're not going to eat the child it anyway. Child. So it is an incentive to get what you need to do the well, job. Yeah, I mean, it's just like it's just hanging there. I mean, you know, what, what do I need with a human child? I mean, I, you, know. you do not you need to expand. Your they, they can't hunt. Choices. They're, they're not good in a pack. I'm just, you know, just kind of a novelty thing just to hold on to to make sure that you hold up your end of the deal. And if you fail to hold up your end of the deal, I lose a tasty taste. But it's so little. I mean, you know, compared to him. Who are you pointing gesturing towards? Darg. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's a tasty morsel. That, that's That's like. Uh, it's appetizer. My children have brought me this. Mm. Others the size of him have been for them to consider. Oh, kids. Oh, your oh, realness. Oh. Where are your children? <laughs> Everywhere in the dark. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> Save you out in the dark. How do you think I know about the Well, I mean, you're an oracle after sure. all. You know what? Perhaps, yes, I will let you take the child. 
I will see if you keep your end of the bargain. Hmm. I always keep my word. Right, guys? Yes. I'm afraid I don't yes, know your does. real name, so I don't know. I think it's Richard. I don't share. It's weird. He, yeah. He Richard. told me it was Dick. <laughs> When he has those cute puppy dreams, though, in the middle of the night, it's he sometimes says he says Richard. I don't. So, who steps forward to cut down the cocoon? Uh, I'll go and pick your club. Club? He has a small. It's like, it's like a, like a little hat. This isn't going to go well. So Darg has two small, two small spears, the club, and he has a small little, um, like a little hatchet, like hand axe. Wait, Wouldn't this guy is carrying yeah. a fortune in weapons. <laughs> They're in crude. They're like spears are like pointed sticks. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, when you yeah. said, yeah, all right. Not not fancy. So, uh, so you you approach stepping on the web, and then her body shifts when you do that. Like she's able to sort of like. Unless take no, like she didn't seem to be aware of you till you stepped on the webs closer to her, and then she shifted her body and sort of faces you, and you go and cut down the baby, and you, you'll probably need to open it up to, to yeah, see his face. I'll, I'll. Yes, and he's. Is it Rorik? Yes, it is Rorik, and he's a double. Hi, he, Rorik. He's screaming. He's crying. He sees you, and is then starts <laughs> laughing, and it just starts. He's very happy. I'll I'll Aww. take the web and like pull it apart. And, like he starts crying. I'll like close it on his face and go. Open it. Big a boo. Well, this is terrifying to the rest of you. Turn toward the spider. Oh, he, oh, does, oh. he does scream at that. And, he turns, and then screams in delight when he sees you. It's just a very weird thing. You know, whatever. But you have the, you have him and you have him now. And, and you can, you think maybe you can literally just take the cocoon and stick it to your body and it stay there. It's kind that of sounds really cool. good. Okay, well. <laughs> like a little baby oh, Bjorn. Yeah. Like, mm. Uh, how, old is, how old is the nephew? I forgot. Who's like six? Six. Six. He's six. Yeah. Because yeah, so I think you it's can funny. Ride if, in this if, later. You can ride in it later. Yes, yes. No, no. Okay. I think if, 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 if he's like, you know, 16 and we're, call, we're calling him a child, he's like, I, I don't want to ride in a Bjorn. You're 16 years old. <laughs> well. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. So, are we going we, to? Yeah, let's, we're gonna let's we're gonna back out real sure. slow. Yeah, we're gonna. Right. Like, okay, we're, we're well, off to kill the orcs. I, I we'll mean, be back the, uh, actually, probably like hour. What, no, it, it took us like an hour just to get through the last cave, the uh, set of caves. He, he doesn't have a real good grasp on time. I'm sure you can monitor us in the caves, and you know how long it'll take for us to get there. It, no need to monitor us. We'll be fine. We'll be. We'll be back. We'll be back. I shortly. have a feeling that we've not taken a step in this caves, and not, and this creature has not is known everything that we have done. Everything. <laughs> At least. Oh me. God. I, oh dog. Oh. <laughs> <shut it. laughs> oh. Oh. We just met him. He's not with us. I'm just gonna put that out there. Remind me to buy you some wipes. <laughs> um. Dude wipes. So Tar- Darg, since you were the one who went over there and cut uh, cut Rorig loose, you can give me a, just a notice roll as well. I'm just thought about this as well. Is but notice I, a skill? Is uh, it awareness? Awareness. I mean, awareness. Uh, awareness. Yeah. I, mean, I, have, I guess spot hidden. Hidden. spot hidden. Maybe spot hidden, I guess, would be. Okay. Is there a notice? That's the second thing you laughed at. Uh, awareness <laughs> is, would be notice. Awareness. Well, well just yeah. gotta, I got to know, because one of them I have a bane on because of my helmet. So it's if it is it is it spot hidden or awareness? Spot hidden. Okay, that I have a a, a full five with only one die. Okay, you can push it. Sixteen out of five, <laughs> and you leave. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he missed all the treasure. Yeah. Is is there a more direct route to get to get to the orcs than the way we came? Safer for our kind. Uh, no, I'm asking the Oracle. I'm not. Oh, yeah. well, she doesn't answer questions without a fee. I oh, see. Give, the, give, her, give her the kid. <laughs> she said, she, 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 Is there a safer way for people like me? No, you have taken 
the safest path. The one that provides the most mercy. Uh, the easy road. You can take the other path and not worry about crossing the pit. That would be nice. Yes. But I'm not certain if my children will not consume you. Maybe oh, the pit. It's fine. They the pit is fine. Them way back the, there. No, it's, the pit is fine. The pit is fine. They were. <laughs> we, we're going. We're, we're going to take the pit. Next day on the well, Eldritch Day. Thank, thank, thank you. You're, thank you very much. We will return. Hopefully sooner than later, because we need the answer to this question. Mm. Oh yeah, super important question. So so important. Okay, I'm excited to be a part of this plan. So, what were we supposed to ask? We get so, oh, we're the, we're this the next piece of the statue. That question, remember? Bullshit! That was amazing. No, no, really no, super impressed. But no brains. We actually need to ask the question. That's why no, we journeyed here. We're not fighting those fucking orcs. We're getting out of here. Get out of this fucking cave and take this kid no, back no, to this stupid we, village. We, the whole stupid reason we, when we left the Ritter Mound to come here was to ask the oracle question. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. we did. Oh, fuck for the, the, oh, the statue fucking statue. Yes, yes. Oh. It's what, yeah, what the, the professor said is true. Mm. Yeah, we, we really need to ask the question. Yeah. Now, do we have to kill the orcs? We just have to convince them that this is not the good place to be. Little A, little bit of B. Yeah. I, I think that's all that matters as long as they leave and don't return. They'll respect a show of force. Maybe we just burn down the keep that they're staying in? You, you do mm. realize it's made of stone mostly. It's yeah, so but there's not wood parts experience. inside. Yes, there's wood parts, but we have to get inside the wood part, the parts of stone to get the wood parts. You just need a bigger fire. Okay. I don't know yet. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm having a hard time here. It's been a long day. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Well, let's okay, let's 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 go let's go talk to them and maybe we can reason with them. It's like, you know, hey, yeah. believe or we'll kill you. Well, I mean, we have, have a fucking duck. Yeah, Karin yeah. knows one of them. That sounds very much uh, like initiative. I can uh, help you all with this. <laughs> I have been told that I have a silver tongue. Uh, oh. Who do you know? Do you not brush it? <laughs> <laughs> if it's the orcs we must convince, let us go deal with these orcs. We just spent a lot of time convincing them not to kill us. We'll, we'll convince them that this the giant evil... St- I'm sorry, presumably evil spider knows that they're there and does not want them there. And it is better for them to depart the premises rather than become giant evil spider food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nobody wants to be spider food. They know they do not want to come down into the tunnels. Never again. But if they're convinced that the keep is part of the spider's domain, maybe they can be convinced uh, to depart. Maybe we could sneak in at night and put webs on their pillows. Then they would think that the spiders were already there. You're not making web when you do I, that, dog. <laughs> Look, I, I'm, I'm getting dumber the longer we have this conversation. So could we just start going towards the keep and we'll figure it yeah. out on the way? All right, yeah, let's, 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 let's go. So with a bit of backtracking and... Um, yeah, let's get the stupid kids some food. Taking a bit more care, having a bit more planning, you cross the... English Abyss over the uh, using the uh, cobweb bridge after taking the right passages, you um, then find uh, uh, you, you do find the stairs going back up towards the keep, and I'm assuming you begin ascending them. Yep. As we'll before, it out. is several meters of stairs you have to cross to come up. Uh, to go up, but when you think you're about maybe, you know, 15 meters more, probably once you just sort of round this bin up the cave uh, to the keep, you encounter a barricade. Does it look somewhat sloppily put together? Mm, no. These are pretty smart orcs. It does not look sloppily put together. If anything, you know, you can tell just some of the material that they apparently probably destroyed the stairs behind it to make part of this barrier. And is the barrier made of wood? Um, 
part of it's made of some stone from the steps or something like that, and then the rest appears to be like some sort of like either not quite set mortar and mudish like clay or something, and some and some uh, and some debris probably taken from outside the keep and brought down here. It is not high. I'm the same. The other thing is, like, it doesn't go all the way to the roof. It just sort of like it's a barricade, and you and you guys are coming up. You can you can see that before you get to it. Can a halfling crawl over it? It's about only about maybe a little taller than you are. It's only like maybe a four foot barrier. Can a halfling on top of a human yep, uh, look over it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and um, as you guys approach, I didn't know if you guys were being quiet. I just thought you were just going upstairs. Um, there is a orc who sort of pops up sort of halfway, half his body over the top of the barrier. Spear in hand. Hey! Why are you back? Yo, we, we need to have a chat. We chatted and didn't stab you in the face, so I think that went well. Yeah, what? yeah, it went well for you. Yes... See, the bad news is... want to continue is, to go well, yeah. then we need to have another chat. Why is there a baby on that, man? Why does he have two babies? How many humans do? <laughs> <laughs> now you can fuck right off. <laughs> Very okay. fertile. Not a baby, definitely a halfling. <laughs> well, no, the other one actually is a child. Remember the child we were looking for, we told you? We were looking for a child. Oh, they're not liars. They found a baby. Oh, that's nice. Someone says from behind the barrier. <laughs> so the bad news is mm. the giant spider downstairs knows you're here and, well, she doesn't like it. We're here to warn you that perhaps you should move on before she comes to express her displeasure herself. And she's, I'm told, a giant, she's a giant spider. Giant spider, yes. Is yeah. she bigger than a corridor? Size, size of a small hut. And she's going to come up the stairs somehow and show us this I giant s- spider well, that's bigger than a Listen, stuff. love, it's not her. It's a thousands of kin that can fit here and crawl right over this monstrosity oh. and eat out your eyes while you're breathing. Well, all right, I'll pass it on to upper management and let them know and inform oh. them that there is obviously a possible problem with spiders and incursions and um, see what she wants to do. But, um... After all, they didn't make the caves in the first place, I'd imagine. That's probably true. Oh, well, while are you doing that? Remember the other part of this. She'll let you out if you make haste. But this oh. has a timer on it, this offer. This fort is literally built at the end of a cave? The stairs? So we're already at the out... Uh, it's not the way that she sees it. I believe there's one of your old friends down below who has experienced her wrath already. Well, he was a moron. He was told not to leave. We don't. We talked about him. You told us. I mean, now he's dead. Uh, hold on. Hold on one second. Stay right there. He's gone to. It's not. It's not a baby. It's just. It's an halfling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's still on his head. The other one? Yeah, it's still there. It's like literally nailed into the top of his head. Just go and tell it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it comes back over. Everything's fine. Um, so, uh, other than giant spiders the size of cards, um, what else have you been up to down in the caves? M- mostly that. See any, any interesting sculptures? Um, there was a nice, uh, very nice pit of death that was uh, fascinating. Did work? Just... Oh, pit of death. That's nice. As a convenient, you know. couple of oh, you found a couple of madmen. Madmen, well, um, well, it sounds like you've had an exciting day, um, and um, found children, and I mean, had time to have children, which is always good, I suppose, you know, for you. I, I uh, um, I don't think you know how that this. how that works, but sure, sure, okay, yeah. Mm. How wide is this uh, stairwell? And the stairwell is about a meter and a half wide. So only about like a person or so, right? Yeah, it's about like 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 five feet wide. 
it's not a very this is not a very roomy place, you know. Mm. The barrier is about three feet in height. So the us taller ones can clearly see over it. Well, it's because you're on because the stairs are you're you know you guys are lower than them on the stairs. It's kind of hard to see. That's why it's like it's mm-hmm. an ascending stairwell. They have the advantage of not being completely visible. From here. But then again, you're probably certain that if you guys go back down three stairs, they can't see you. <laughs> so it's kind of a you know it's kind of a catch twenty two for both sides. But yeah. And you probably figured it's been done to restrict the amount of actual visual, you know, capability of those coming up, and they could probably just throw shit over or something. Look, you're you're getting the message sent to your to your leadership. We're going to go back down and have a bit a spot of lunch. It's been a it's been a few hours, and we've had a, a bit of a time. That we'll, sounds we'll, like a great idea. We'll we'll be back. All right. Once again, congratulations, Miss. As he points at Darg. And um, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll be here. Okay. Wait, 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 uh, one question, just quick. You did not find any interesting or not so interesting statuary down there, did you? Uh, it's mostly just cave. Okay, we're just doing uh, yeah. that. Right, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. In, the, in the giant spider chamber. I mean, there was a. The, there was the a there giant was a, spider might there, possibly have had one. There is the one phallic shaped uh, stalagmite that they all laughed at for about 20 minutes. But that was really about it. Pretty fine. <sighs> Dakin. Also, your uh, <laughs> your dead fellow was was clutching something down down below. I'm not sure what it was. Probably his bullsack. He was weird that way. I don't know whether we could find that part. Oh, not that we looked for it specifically, mine. Oh, thank you. Um, that's a new part of information. He was carrying something. I'll make certain that the boss uh, hears that. Enjoy your, what do you guys call that? Siesta? (laughs) And we will see you once you've refreshed and returned. And we, of course, will have orders. Um, And believe me, if this ends terribly, I am so terribly, well, sorry that it goes that way. But, you know. More of a concern for you, lad, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. As you I mean, you, you, you've been very decent. We appreciate it. I don't want you to be eaten by little tiny spiders. You have been very decent as well. Huh. And with that, they just wait for you to walk away. <laughs> so awkwardly, just... Um, <laughs> bye. Just, 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 bye. Just, 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 great, to, with this great to see you. It's, yeah, it's when you fun. decide to leave, just send us an envoy, and we uh, we'll go tell the spider, the giant spider with mm. the fangs. And the, oh, that can't get up Thousands and thousands of, of carnivorous children crawling all over the caves. Okay. All right, so uh, I think that uh, we're gonna rest and have a have, yeah, have, a, have a little snack. You can. Probably the best room, even though it's a bit of a squeeze to get there to rest, would be that sort of like cave that was full of relics. Mm-hmm. Oh, that armory looking one? Yeah. Yeah, it was large enough to hold your party, though. There were several exits off of it, but if you have enough watches, you probably should avoid any horrible deaths at night or during a rest period. And do you guys plan on taking a. Because um, you guys slept outside before, take it in your. Um, Taking a full uh, shift outside the cave, woke up and started the day and went in here. Do you want to just take a stretch or or are you guys planning on taking? I've got some conditions that I've got to heal. So can we, can you heal more than one condition in a stretch or is is that it? Hmm. In a stretch, I think you can heal, was it one? Uh, Or is it just full power? I thought a stretch was one and uh, a shift, which is the eight hours ish, was. Everything. Uh, yeah, stretch is uh, you can heal uh, D6 hit points or 2D6 if someone is tending to you. All right, I'll, I'll do whatever the party wants. I, I have two conditions, but... Uh, during the stretch, you also can recover D6 willpower Okay. Uh, and heal a condition of yeah. your choice. Yeah, so just do a stretch. Okay, so can I roll a D6? I heal six. Nobody was injured? 
Yeah, if, if, you're, if it's anybody physically injured. Yeah, I, I need to get some willpower. I'm just using my willpower, and I'm going to take one of my two conditions. conditions. I will heal exhausted. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just sit down and have a, have a bite, drink some water, chit-chat. Yeah, ask ask, ask Darg, Darg about the village. Well, having uh, spoken with the orcs yet again and received the demands of the oracle, you believe, the giant spider in the cave, but more than likely the oracle, um, that she wants the orcs removed, probably by death, in order to give you the answer to a question that she has, you have yet to ask. But more than likely, I'm assuming it's probably about the statue. <laughs> um, she has given you Rorik, a child, as a... gift of faith in your ability to fulfill your end of the bargain. Having that, you have chosen to wait till they have spoken to the, to the orcs have spoken to their commander, which uh, I believe Karen has told you her name is Agra. You have found the uh, cave he once found the relics in before, made a camp, setting sentries and watching the three entrances you all relax and begin to take a breather to figure out what to do, what your next move is. And should it be confronting the large number of oaks or the ancient giant spider in the cave? And with that, the darkness of the cave seems to grow and the light seems to fade. And so closes our session for tonight. Hooray. Thank you, gentlemen. There's much rejoicing. Okay, ready? Okay. So, um, basically, yes, I believe it has happened. If you have uh, rolled any demons or dragons for a particular skill test or skill check, um, make note of those during the session. Mm -hmm. And here are the questions. Mm -hmm. um, did you participate in the session? Okay. Yes. 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 Did you explore a new location? <clears throat> Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Did you defeat one or more dangerous adversaries? Did you yeah. overcome an obstacle without force? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 But mm -hmm. Does the bridge count? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or we got the kid back. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Did you give in to your weakness? Yes. Yes. I slept outside. Does that count? Mm -hmm. Well, you guys slept outside no. the night before. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, then yes. So the guys, are, so Darks is mm -hmm. gullible, so he went right across believe that bridge crazy man. without <laughs> asking yeah. any questions because mm -hmm. they told him yeah. that's where he should go. So yes, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's all. That's all the. Uh, that's all the questions. So add up how many you how many you have, and then okay. you can roll against the skills of your choosing, and un. Do you mind, right, do you mind if I first. go first? I gotta, I gotta yeah, roll. Yeah, go ahead, Tim. Go ahead. All right. yep. Swimming, I have a nine. I rolled a five. Too bad there. Um, I'm going to do... I have four of them here. So I'm going to do hunting and fishing. I rolled a one. Uh, I'm going to go bartering. Got that one. That one's now a seven. And the, my last one will be uh, staff. Okay. I got yeah, that and one just too. so you know, Matt, I'm like... Wow. Time in this game... Yep. This is the only time you want to roll above your skill level to advance it. And any skill, above, the maximum right, height right. that you can go, of course, is 18. And once your skill reaches 18, then you can get a uh, another heroic uh, ability. Right. Farewell. All right, gentlemen. All right, I take us, Tim. All right, take, take it easy. Easy. I'll, I will dro I'll drop the file in. Okay, okay cool. Good night. Um, Thank you. Good night. Um, I'll go next to find sure. anything else. Uh, all right, I am going to try for bows. I have a 16. I rolled a 12, so it does not advance. 
Uh, I am going to try uh, evade. I have a 15. I rolled an 18. Nice. Mm. So that goes up one. Um, I ha- I'm going to try uh, myths and legends. I have a 15. I rolled a 12. Does not advance. Uh, and I will try beast lore. I have a 12. Yes. And I rolled an 18. So that goes up. Nice. I'll go next. So first I got my uh, mm-hmm. dragon for acrobatics, which is a, a nine. And I got an 18. So that goes up. Woo. And Double digits. Yes. Because we've had to use that uh, twice already in the games. Uh, next, um, blah, 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 do sneaking. Sneaking is at a 16. I got a 14, so no luck there. Next is Awareness, which is a 13. I got a 5, so no. Next, Evade. Evade is a 12. (laughs) I got a 2, so that's going nowhere. (laughs) And lastly, I'll do Swords, which is a 6. And I get a 15, so that goes up. Mm -hmm. Matt, you want to go next? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to stick to things that I tried to do. So, very first, sneaking. I have a six. And (laughs) I roll a two. So, nope. (laughs) Still sucks that. Welcome to the party. Uh, (laughs) Next, uh, I think I'm going to try. I think I wanted a fail. It was a, a spot hidden. I have a five in that. I rolled a 15, so that 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 goes up to a 6. Uh, let me change that. And then I have two more. Okay, so then uh, he tried to do acrobatics. He did succeed at that. I have a 12, so I will try to... I have a 9, so no, I did not go up in there. And I have one more... Oh, um, because I got to meet a mythical creature, I'm going to try to do myths and legends, and I have a 5. And I rolled a one, so no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dark gonna dark. dark. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're you're still probably better off than Sean right now because he's trying to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got one in spot hidden, so that's yeah, you know. yeah, that's good. All right, All right I guess I'll go. Uh, so I've got a nine in awareness. You go. and I rolled a fourteen. Hey, nice. double digits. Nice. Uh, whoops. And next, I'm going to go for bluffing. Is that something I tried today? And uh, I had that at four, and I rolled 18, so I'm going to go to five. Uh, I'm going to be a master bluff master. Uh, and sneaking, I've got 17. I'm going to try and get that heroic ability and roll a seven, so no. Uh, hammers, I've got an eight and rolled a 17. All right, so i got nine nice. hammers now. All right. All right. Uh, I am all done. Awesome. Well, thanks, everybody. I usually don't right. roll for Karen. Do you want to roll? Or oh, yeah, sorry. Do it all at some point. <laughs> yeah. Fudge it as the story okay. dictates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, uh, Matt, glad you're able to, to join us. Yeah. You're going to be able to join oh, us yeah. next I, week. I miss. And your heavy breathing dog. Lot. Well, yeah, he's not. Yeah, I haven't let him all in. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I have I have missed this, so I'm really glad to have yeah. a little bit of chance to yeah, would you guess, miss, yeah. jump in here. How long so, do we have you? you? We've missed you. Hopefully you get to jump in more. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But but next week you're going to be able to join too in three weeks, I think. I think. Two more weeks, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Just all right. Recording. Sorry. Cool. Yeah. It's just pure... Theater of the Mind, or how are we doing, Matt? Yeah, we're doing Theater of the Mind. I usually was so a picture of the map of Theater of the Mind. I have not gotten Don Foundry yet, so, because, you know, there's these things. This All thing right, I have, kids. this baby, and he yeah. takes up a lot of my life, like yeah. some sort of lamprey. Stupid baby. You guys could have said something, but you didn't. The lurker below. No, I'm pretty sure we were explicit about how, yeah. <laughs> we will do, we will do. Okay, I wasn't listening. You we <laughs> yeah, you did. This. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do what? I'll be able to do, I'll be able to do this. <laughs> 
Hi, this is Matt, the co-host of the Advanced Age Role-Playing Gamers podcast, and you've been listening to our latest actual play, Mirth, Magic, and Mayhem, using the Dragon Bane TTRPG from Free League Publishing, based on the classic Swedish role-playing game, Drakkar de Moner. If you like what you hear, please follow, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and anywhere else you find podcasts. We also really appreciate feedback and chatting with folks, so feel free to tweet us, comment on our YouTube, or leave us a review so we can reach even more people. You can also visit our website at www.theaarpgs.com, where you can read more about the cast, listen to old episodes, and even shop our store for cool Geek Chic merchandise. This story features Malcolm and Nathan as co-GMs, Malcolm will also be playing the role of Karin, a halfling bard. Nathan will be playing the role of Brains, a wolfkin thief. Our players for this story are Tyr as Dane Ringson, a human scholar. Sean as Baylor Banefire, a dwarven smith. Chris as Sigan, an elven huntress. Anthony as Corrigan Stonehammer, a halfling fighter and Tim as Quivering, the Mallard Mage. Character artwork created by Nemesis to Anthony Cupo and friend of the show, Jody P. Schaefer, whose work you may recognize from Metacopolix, Mari Kari, Megas XLR, and MTV's Downtown. Contact him when the time is right. You'll know how and when. Music licensed through Dark Fantasy Studios and SoundCube. Sound effects by Nathan using Krotos Weaponizer, Studio, and Dehumanizer using libraries from Boom Library, SoundCube, Krotos, and his own recordings. So thank you again for taking time to sit down with us at our gaming table. And until next time, remember, you're never too old to roll.